Hey everyone, it's Presley at ActiveGames.com here, and today I'm going to be doing a quick overview of CS50 Week 1. So, the lecture, as always, the lectures in CS50 are really entertaining, and the staff made everything really, really clear, so you know exactly how everything works, uh, you know how these commands work, you know how this program works, and everything was really, really clear and super duper great. And I also never realized before how much um, that Scratch is actually like a C program, like how the shapes are super duper similar. Like, if you had a Scratch program here, I'll open one, um, I'll just open Mario here. Um, you can see, like, how much it actually looks like a Scratch program. Like, there's the curly braces, which look like kind of the little things, like, while, if, um, forever, stuff like that. And there's the parentheses, and the parentheses are, like, the little holes where you can, like, type something, or you can put, like, a little block in as well. And everything just looks a lot like Scratch, and more so than I actually thought it would be. I thought Scratch would be, like, it would be kind of hard to transition from Scratch to, like, C or something else, but it's actually a lot easier and looks really really similar so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some of the programs that I did for the problem set because CS50 have these really cool problem sets that uh, basically just give you a coding problem and you have to solve that and write something to basically like make an algorithm to solve that problem so let's start with the most simple one just hello so even looking at this without any experience with C or even programming at all you can probably tell what this does um, just by this here. It prints hello world. So if I just do, whoops, ah, why don't, don't type it up there. If I do that slash hello, then it'll just say hello world. That's all it will do. Um, but let's do a little bit more of a complicated one called water. And this one here um, just asks you how many minutes do you take a shower for, and then it tells you how many bottles of water you would use in your shower. So let's do dot slash. Oh, ah, am I typing up there? No, 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 no. There we go. Okay, dot slash water. How many minutes do you take a shower for? Um, let's just say 10. You use 120 bottles of water in your shower. So you can do it with all sorts of minutes. Um, it'll just tell you how many minutes you, how many bottles of water you would use in your shower. So let's go ahead and do a um, definitely more complicated one, um, which took a long time. But this one will just print the very famous, the very famous Mario half pyramid. So. Ah, keep doing that no don't do that dot slash mario how high should the pyramid be something in between 1 and 23 let's just say 10 and then it'll draw the mario pyramid and this one was really really complex um and i actually did have a lot of fun but it was also really hard it took um i don't know it took a couple hours to actually get working but you had to calculate how many spaces you needed how many hashes you needed where to put the spaces and the hashes and how and like calculate all those things and put that all together just to draw the mario pyramid but you get to choose how high it is um so that one was really really fun and hard as well and now the most complex one greedy which is a greedy algorithm okay i didn't i saw this and thought it was a lot shorter than it was it's it's a lot longer so this one's called greedy and this is a greedy algorithm and a greedy algorithm is just an algorithm that calculates how much, like, the least amount of materials to use, how much you need to use to use the least amount of materials or time or money or whatever. So this one tells you the least amount of coins that you need to do, you need to give a person to give them their change. Oops, did I type it up there? Not good, okay. Whoops, just clear. There you go, okay. Um, so let's just go ahead and do dot slash. How much change do you owe? Let's just say something, something really simple, like 26 cents. It'll tell you you need to use two coins. So 26 cents. 
you need to use two coins. And you can do this with dollars, it'll just, but it will tell you coins. It won't tell you you need to give the person this many dollars and this many cents. It'll just tell you how many cents you need to give them. So, like, I, it would give you a quarter, one quarter and one penny is what you would give that person if you owed them 26 cents. And it told you, like, you only need to use two coins there. You don't have to give them 26 pennies. You just have to give them a quarter and a penny. So, yeah. So, I'm going to do a little bit of a bigger one with Greedy. So let's just do um, $7.25. And then it'll just tell you how many coins you need. You can do this with all sorts of things, like over and over again. Um, and now I'm going to actually show you something that shows you a little bit of m the error handling that I did, where I went and made sure that you can't say, I owe someone minus five cents, and it won't tell you that. It'll just ask you for another thing. So let's just do greedy again. How much change do you owe? I owe you minus 30 cents. How much change do you owe? Minus 20. How much change do you owe? Minus 22. And it would just keep, it will keep asking you until you say, until you like say something like 25. Oh, well, I actually said, I accidentally said $25. Um, no, <laughs> not $25. Um, but like until you say 25 cents or whatever. Um, y it will keep saying, no, give me another one, give me another one. And here with Mario, it says in between, it'll be like, it wants you to have something in between one, and in between zero and 23. So if I do Mario here, um, and I say 99, try something in between zero and 23. How high should the pyramid be? Um, and then if I say minus 22, how high should the pyramid be until you actually say the right one? So, um, air handling is actually a lot more fun than it sounds to figure out the ways that you can mess up your own program and then fix it. Um, it's a lot more fun than it sounds. But these were definitely a ton of fun to make, and the lectures were really great and fun, and I'm really excited to continue on to the second week. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!